Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I am Will. I'm joined by my co-host over here, the Grease. Say hello, Grease. What's up, everybody? What's up, buddy? It's Monday. It is Monday. We we have a show that we didn't air last week. I do want to address this uh, kind of early. We are live tonight because we are doing a little bit of a celebration. We'll get to that in a minute. But as most of you know, we do live in the Nashville area, and Nashville is a uh, a big small town is probably the best way to describe this city. And so a lot of people, especially if you've been here more than just a, a couple months, you have connections that go throughout the city. And when the school shooting happened in Nashville last Monday, uh, Grease and I didn't feel really good about that night running a show um, that was just, it, it just felt like it very was tone deaf. deaf. Boom. Look at that. I don't know why we just high five during that. Saying, no, well, it's I'm just but, more proud of you that you said the right words there. So. Oh, the word tone deaf yeah. is complex <laughs> for some. Okay. So, but all that to say is that that show we probably will run for the YouTube audience next Monday. Um, if if you're an audio listener, it was already out, so you've probably listened to it. But uh, I just wanted to get that out there that we did have a show planned. We were going to run it originally we said we'll run it at some point during the week and it just didn't feel right running anything during that week so um we appreciate everyone that reached out and for people that are just praying for the families and people of this city because it's uh it's it's tough and there's a heavy weight here that um we're not used to and and no one should be used to that it, no one should have to to feel that so um just wanted to say that thanks to everyone uh, but we are live tonight and we are going to do a little bit of a celebration you know there's there's folks around the youtube world that are hitting big numbers like uh 100,000 over at uh our friends at Spurban night 6,000 over here at the podcast so there's people right. that are really putting junkies are over 100 not the numbers on the scoreboard i'm more focused on our 6,000 though that's that's really what i wanted to focus on there the hone big in. numbers just to yeah. hone in yeah yeah so speaking uh, of those channels, I, I just want to say, you know, on the YouTube side, the reason, you know, we got kick started on this platform was because of the junkies. It's Bourbon 980 HD. You know, Matt Porter back in the day, he was a listener and he reached out to us. We were communicating back and forth periodically. And then he I was talking with him when he was ADHD fishing. When he was fishing. Yeah. Well, barely fishing. Have well, you seen that channel? Caught a lot of trees. <laughs> he did not catch fish he was better at fishing than you are at catching sharks what um <sighs> that's inside that's too inside well anyhow i like it uh um but no it, and then and then matt porter graciously reached out to us and and wanted us to be a part and help promote us a little bit on youtube and the rest is history connected us with the junkies and it's bourbon night chad and sarah we've been friends with for a long time and those channels specifically helped launch us into this and we i want to say thank you so much for that and then obviously all these freaking people out there that watch us yeah. and like us and subscribe to us we appreciate that we like them they're good folks we definitely like them now tonight we are doing a giveaway yeah we which we we tossed around the rules of but then we never solidified them so we're gonna um standard rules work, workshop oh see i thought it was something different because we've got other big news tonight that's what we first threw out. 
Oh, if they... Well, so here's the big thing. There were two... there, there's a, a big Sorry, announcement was... as well tonight. So we're going to pour yeah. this up. Because if you went to Whiskey Weekend and you went to Don's, which that's everyone that went to Whiskey Weekend, um, you got to try this Oak and Thieves um, Rye 3 Toasted Barrel at Don's. And there was only like five bottles left because we split the barrel with Don's store. And they sold out very quickly. And people loved it. And so it's now available today. And if you're in Oaken Thieves, check your messages if you haven't already. But it's our first launch with our new partner, MASH Network, that we are um, able to provide this through them, uh, shipping to all but three states. That's Hawaii, Alaska, and Utah. So that covers Checks most out. of our audience being able to get this. Yeah, like we specifically mail. know people that... Live. Yeah, That's I mean, we, we do know people in, in two out of those three, but uh, the majority of our audience, they can get this through the easy shipping methods. It is, I used Apple Pay. I ordered a bottle to test it. Oh. And I just do it using Apple Pay. It was the easiest purchase I've ever, and it's just gonna ever done. It's just going to show up at your door. Uh huh. You just check out use yeah. apple pay and it's at your door and so if you're a part of oak and thieves if you're not a part of oak and thieves go to oak and right now and join any level you can get access to this bottle um but this is rye three yeah uh toasted and, barrel whiskey and if you were drinking it if you go to shop.oakandthieves.com it's going to take you to that store now you're going to notice that rye three is like 500 dollars because there's a, a coupon code Right. If you're a patron, you theoretically could just straight up buy it for that. And you, I'd be fine with it. You you could. I don't I mean, I don't, I don't think it we, really help. I don't it. think it does. No, it is just us. like I mean the good for you. You know, the retailer might be like, I owe you a drink. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. five. Send us a bottle. Send us a bottle on the, the house. Send this us a bottle us. in the mail. Yeah. So, you know, speaking of, we got a game from that guy later on. Tonight. Yeah. Um shoot what was <laughs> so all, all i was just say is that you can see what it looks like right yeah. now at shop.oakandthieves.com is what the storefront looks like and also what's cool about mash network is we'll be able to if we're featuring like rye three and you want to try some of the other products out they can put that in you're already getting bottle shipped if you want to try some of their 10 year or uh eight year rum it's on there we're we're playing around with it this is our, our official launch but it's still kind of a soft launch um because we want to we want to work all the bugs out but it, it's very simple it's the easiest purchase of of, of I love a that, bottle of bourbon i love that you dropped the coin for that oh yeah well are it was you, it was one i it? i needed no no <laughs> I, I mean it, it was my personal card too that wasn't you go and have these oh yeah on it yeah so but i mean it worked really seamlessly it was really good we had one like very minor thing that we wanted adjusted when some people started placing orders and uh -huh. the folks were able to do it literally in seconds um it, it's it's a refreshing relationship because some of this shipping isn't always refreshing with with some of these things so um and i know that they're you going have to create quickly. a label and send it none this, of that jazz this yeah. weird email address yeah so here we speaking go speaking of havesies though yeah Another product on there is an 18-year-old rum right. that you can buy. And let me just go ahead and there tell everybody here. Left. Let me go ahead and tell everybody here. You need to buy two of, if not three of those things. It's unbelievable. And I have half the bottle left upstairs. That you're gonna get and I me. just got it. I just got it. That it's may so or good. may not be what I purchased <laughs> to get another bottle of. Okay, so. well, I'm keeping that on. Well, I mean... Mm. Uh, gray area yeah, so you did personally buy it. right that, that's accurate so it, it's fun go to oakenthieves.com and join the club you can get this it's uh i think it's and also there it's 10 percent off with the retail was yes when yes. you use, so that coupon code takes the 4.99 plus 10 percent off of each bottle and, and you get it shipped to you if you're a member of oak and thieves so check it out um we're excited about this partnership that's part of this launch this is a part of the celebration so what i was saying is that what we would do is any Oak and Thieves member would we and so you can join yes, tonight as yes. well. But at the like by you know tomorrow afternoon or something, we'll do a raffle of this sample for Oak and Thieves people. So I love it's it. kind of a coincide. But you want to do two samples? Do we have enough? I mean, oh, it's yours. Yes, I'm giving away your preciousness. So, so Dude, to, here, what all are right. We, so what any Oak and e any Oak and Thieves member, when's the cutoff? Like like. 
T- Tuesday, Tuesday at, at midnight. Tomorrow at midnight. At, so Wednesday that's morning. too complicated. I need to manually go in there and pull the report. Okay. Well, Wednesday noon, morning at noon on Wednesday. Okay, noon on Wednesday. Noon on Wednesday. I'm going to pull that report into any member of Oak and Thieves. I've got two samples of an Eagle Rare 17. This was released, not bottled. Released, or no, wait, not barreled. Sorry. Right. It was bottled. Right. This is when it's bottled. Yeah. Fall of 2009. So Grease is going to do two samples of those to any uh we're going to wrap them off in oak and thieves yep so any oak and thieves members and and we do have a super running. chat which will add jim hess oh. just for the super chat just to be Dude. nice this is a podcast rules for a ten dollar super chat this is ruxpin that is the guy that i met on poker stars vr oh this is this is the guy okay, you got to tell this story this is the guy okay so i i <laughs> thought i told it publicly but oh no, no it's you, in the episode that we punted is it? I, I, bri- no, I, briefly, I think it was I just us on the phone. Oh, was that, we were I called on you phone. on the phone and you were talking to him through your VR headset while we were on the phone. You're playing poker. Yeah. All right. Thank so, you, Ruxpin. So there's this, there's this using an Oculus, you can go to this Poker Stars VR experience and it's people from all around the world. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many people, but there's a lot of people. And I'm at a craps table. By the way, it's, it's, as you do, it's free currency. You can buy currency if you want to, but it's free. Yeah. Over there, there's no monetary value. Mm -hmm. And I'm throwing dice on a craps table. And this guy comes up and like he didn't really know what to do. And so I was kind of helping him out. And he goes, the grease. Are you the whiskey grease? (laughs) And I was like, um, yes. I did. I mean, what else am I supposed to like? I mean, mean, why would you deny it? Right. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like in this environment right now. I'm like, yeah, heck yeah, I am. (laughs) And he was like, oh man, I listened to your show. And I was like this. And let me go ahead and tell you something. One of 500 people. All right. One of 500 people around the world that listen to us and watch us. Then are you saying that there's only 500 people? There's only 500 (laughs) people. That's fair. 6,000 subs. 500 there's people. only 500 people one of you is playing poker stars mm. on vr he is. And, there, and thank you for the super chat man we'll we'll add you to the raffle just for that uh or maybe grease can help you out at a, a craps table again free of charge yeah i'll tell you how to play crappy um there is before we get in because we have a fun game that we're going to play that was sent by ty and it could be a complete nightmare. Like, I don't know how this is going to go at all. But I do want to say that one thing that's cool about this Rye 3 Toasted is that at New Orleans Bourbon Festival, it uh, won three awards, the Toasted Barrel. And we picked one of the first Toasted Barrels. And both Karthik, you, me, and then we're like, Don, you got to come over here and try this. And yes. Don tried it. No, no he smelled it. it. Don didn't want to get a, a barrel that day. We were just at his shop doing, doing it. Yeah, um, and Don was smelled. It was like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. He's like, I can tell I want it on the nose. Yeah. And then he tasted it. It was unbelievable. It is good. He was like, I, I literally have to get this. Um, and, and so we did send some to his shop and they sold out very quickly of it. It's so well balanced, Will. But they won uh, best rye whiskey. They got gold medal for that. Best cast strength whiskey. They got silver medal. And best in festival. They got silver. So second overall at New Orleans Bourbon Festival and the best rye whiskey at New Orleans Bourbon Festival. So that's what this expression is. And we got one of the first barrels of it. And it was all the samples were unbelievable. But this one was truly special. We got the James Smith stamp of approval. Yeah, that's hard to do. He tried it. He's like, y'all didn't screw this up, I think is the way he said it, which is the highest praise from him. Um, And some people say it almost has like a Cheerios, like a Honey Nut Cheerios like um, a grain essence going on. That'd be like but in like a good like way. Little grain, in, a, in, a, in, <laughs> in a good way. In a good I mean, way. Honey Nut Cheerios is like my favorite cereal of all time classic yeah mine actually is different it's frosted flakes frosted flakes another classic that's a nostalgia favorite because i always had frosted flakes at my grandparents house that's the only we never got it at home i was always honey nut cheerios but because of the sugar i don't know we just never bought it my mom always bought honey nut cheerios bill if you're watching (laughs) stop why'd you do that no um okay so so you can get this rye three uh, by joining oakandthieves.com. Go there, support us. Um, not, we're doing a drawing. 
within that group, giving yeah, away two, two drawings, really. Two, two, I'll do two, two ounce sample bottles. That's that is actually quite generous. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do two. He's two gonna he's gonna sample. make me pay him for those somehow. It's gonna you're gonna see this happen. Yep. I'm gonna draw that. All Oak and Thieves owners. The cutoff is at noon on Wednesday. I like it. Um and and that, that actually is good because that gets me some time to put the audio out so that yeah it gives people there like a go. full two two listening days of commute right oh um, something for podcast else, listeners something else that Oak and Thieves members get what do we have coming Will oh you talking about the uh, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye yeah Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye yeah not the bourbon but the rye we've got one we've got a pick coming. We're going to start from the top tier and work our way down on those, but we're partnering with the Special Forces Foundation, and they're right. going to get some cases to go fundraise with. Yeah, and also a portion of the proceeds that we're doing um, is going to go of uh, the bottle purchase is going to go towards them as well. Yeah. So stock is going to be limited, right? Just because a little bit of it is going to Colorado for the charity. So we're going to try to get as many to as many hands as we can. But also the fact that that will go quickly, it also opens up the doors. Us doing the charity portion opens those doors up in the future to continue those. So it's only going to get more in quantity. I think. Right. So, yeah. Um, I do want to say two super chats here before we get to the game that Ty sent us. So this is from Mark Boyer. I believe I said that right. Um, because we had this long discussion on a town hall. And if you know anything, if I'm, mm. this is a problem. Mm. If I'm asking you how to pronounce your name on a town hall, that means I've already had a few too many <laughs> and uh, not going to remember it, but I'm pretty sure it's Boyer. Uh, it says, Will and Grease, Michigan Distillery samples coming your way. Plus Grease, I'll send you more art for the kids. Now Peace that my brothers, yeah, he's a good that dude. sounds creepy. No, it's not creepy. Though. It's he's not. a good dude. <laughs> he's a really good artist. And he, in his free time, he just pours a glass of bourbon and does some art, and it's incredible. Yeah. And um, he sent one to me, and it was for me for my office, but then my daughter saw it and said, I want that in my room. And so I was like, yes, let's just do that. Yeah. Like and it. so then he was like, you've got other girls. So uh, I'm going to make some Speaking art. of another person whose name I've asked how to pronounce it a million times on a town hall, this is our buddy Chris. Prokopiak. And congrats on the 6,000 degrees to celebrate. I'm going to send you a bottle of Leopold Brothers Three Chamber Rye. Don't you send liked me a, it, right? I have it. I have it somewhere. I just love I, how much he'll take a crap on a, a kind sample you sent. I but, know. I mean, it wasn't. No, it was super it. kind. I've already told. I've already told him that. By the way, if you have a bad whiskey, let me go ahead and tell you: spring is upon us. Okay, you've got the fruit flats. All you got to do. This is a true story. Is put a Glen or another glass with some crappy whiskey in there. Okay. It attracts the fruit flies. And then you put a flash strip kind of sticking up around the edge and they guys, there's like, if you don't think you have fruit flies, you, you do. do. You yeah. act, the whiskey will create them for you to catch a hundred percent. We thought we had like five fruit flies. Oh, you never have just five. It was like flies. 75. No, it's like 75,000. 75,000. All right. We've got, uh, this is from Jared Lesher. Thank you, Jared, for the $20 super chat. Really appreciate it. And Cheers, guys. Congrats on the 6K. And I, Jared, you need to email me at grease at the podcast.com because I have a bottle of yours of that you need to get. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's get to this game. Now, <laughs> this is I don't, speaking like of I said, celebrating. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, guys, is there a trap door in it? No, it's, the whole thing. It it says uh, open. It carefully. says this side up. Open carefully. Okay. And then it it's like we need to tell people who, who we Ty got it is. from. Yeah, this is from Ty Gallenbeck. He's the magician out in Telluride, and it starts with a QR code. It says start here. Oh, you know what? Here, hold this up because. Because people, well, I don't know. But I, what if it's like a Google sheet and they mess up our answers? Poor, poor, point your well, they he should have thought about that. Well, I don't know. All right, so oh, it feet. goes to YouTube. All right, all right, okay, okay. everybody. There's a video, I have to the podcast pick your pick. Oh, oh this is oh, fun. Oh, okay. well, pick your all right, okay. wait, wait, wait. All right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Can I? Everybody can I... needs to do this. Well, no, I can I pull it up on here. On the stream yard? 
Yes. Yeah, and then I even play the video. See, we we couldn't plan for this because it was a gift. So right. anybody right. is just so like these to... guys. These guys don't even know. All right, let's see. You talk for a minute while I figure this out. Oh, I'll talk a little bit. I'm going to talk about Oak and Thieves. We've got a Jack Daniels barrel proof rye on the way. We've got a rye three toasted rye um, barrel proof up on the store already. We've got an 18 year old rum that will absolutely annihilate any rum that you've ever had. I promise you that actually I haven't had all of them. I haven't had all the rums. I can't. Yeah, I was about to say that's, let me go ahead and tell it's you really incredible though. It's a heck of a rum. It's a heck of a rum. Um, it's from out of Panama and some other neighboring distilleries. <laughs> you mean countries? <laughs> distilleries. It's distilleries. Um, other neighboring country distillates that's what i meant to say um it's really good and it's on there you can go to shop.oakandthieves.com to access that store uh, everything is available you'll notice except our barrel proof toasted rye is listed for about five hundred dollars and that is not the right price but you'll get the coupon code if you go to oakandthieves.com and become a member tonight or whenever also if you become a member we are giving away an eagle rare 17 from the fall of 2009 sample along with um, another two ounce sample of the eagle rare 17 year okay here's the here's this video i think this is how i do it so i'm going to click share okay all right Up, oh, time out. Gotta, time out. Gotta, we got you. Got to unmute it. You got to unmute All right, it. Here we go. All right, here we go. Hold on. Time out. Group is your pick. So I will let you know uh, which pick you are looking for in each of the groups. So in group A, uh, it is the three chord pick from Whiskey Weekend Batch 4. It is Team Dixon's, the one that water was added to. Um, in group B, which is the high proof rye, it is, of course, shark repellent. Uh, and then in group C, it is your Eagle Rare pick, uh, Bed Pour. So in each group, they are very similar uh, bourbons or ryes, um, but uh, one of them is your pick. And it is your job to figure out which one is your pick. And I don't really care if you guys do it as a team. Uh, you make a game out of it. I, it doesn't matter to me. Make it a competition. Um, whatever. I just thought it'd be a fun way to drink some samples. If you think it's terrible, scrap the whole thing and drink them. It's all good whiskey. So uh, if you have any questions, you know how to reach out. I just thought this would be a cool and easy way for you guys to get the gist of what is in each of those. There's also an envelope in there labeled group A, group B, and group C that has the results. So do not open those until you complete uh, the group tasting, I guess, for group A, group B, and group C. Hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, if not, let me know. All right. So um, people missed half of that because I forgot to add it to the stream. But essentially, the name of the game is Pick Your Pick. And these are, there's three groups. There's C1, there's C2, there's four samples per group. Okay. Um, and I think we should do this a couple times. So let's just do one round tonight. Let's do group B. So the group, rye. group 
uh, B is high proof rye. It's a good idea because we're doing rye already because yes. we're drinking the rye three. Golly, yes. But group A is high proof bourbon and group C is low proof bourbon. So we're going to save those. But essentially, it's called pick your pick. One of these four samples is our or is a pick we did. And he gave us the heads up that this one is actually going Shark to be repellent. shark repellent, which was from which is Save and Grain. One of the it was a nine year MGP cast strength rye, like 119 proof. One of the most delicious things. It's probably my favorite. I've ever single, had. It's probably my favorite single barrel pick that we've ever done. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. We crushed a bottle of it when we were in Colorado. Um, we did that remote with Casey Bright. It was amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to drink through samples and we're going to um, we're going to try to guess which they are. And then we have the answers. So it's a fun game, but we're trying to really hone in on which one we picked. This is B1. If I don't get this. I'm an idiot. All right. Don't I wouldn't open it yet because we only have one glass each right now. Oh, yeah. Well, so just I, was just, I was just going to do the leg work, but it's not that hard to open. Yeah, they actually just I was um, getting ahead of it. Has pretty wax, but it still unscrews nicely. All right, so B1. Woo. Mm. Oh, that's a really sweet rye. Smells smells light. Well, it's all high proof rye. So mm. it's pretty fun. Mm. The smells oh. it smells sweet. Oh, God. B1. That's really good. Feels like Thomas H. Handy. Yeah. It's, it's got that it's buttery got some, note that Thomas H. Handy has. And you say, I ha I'm you not aware if Ty even has that. You say buttery. I say it's got a finish of honey. It does have some honey. You notice I've been doing like a daily Whiskey the Pooh. Mm -hmm. What do you think about them? You tag me in all of them. I forgot to tag you today. Well, dang. But just because I tag you doesn't mean you watch it. I mean, I will say this. Some of the jokes are over my head. <laughs> They're over my head, too. Guess who wrote them? <laughs> the, uh, AI. The chat chat AI. G GPT. Uh, Scott Moody did say, Will, love the Pooh Bear shorts so much. Um, I think they're pretty funny. Uh, some of them. Uh, Why did I be rolling? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one where I do a really weird like eye roll in it that, that is going to get you. When if I have one negative, it's too peppery on the back end. Almost like it has rice spice to it or something. Yeah. Oh, this could be a Willet rye. I don't know. It's too. It's no. much more sweet. Yeah, it's much yeah. more sweet. Doesn't have that grit. Will it does? I was almost gonna think it had like a finish on it when I smelled it because it smelled so sweet. So, well, yeah. Um, your sweet equals my light. It's very light. All right, let's try B. Which means the sweetness. If you listen in, well. Sing it back, Ty. Oh, eight times up. This is not, uh, B is not the shark repellent, just based off the nose. It's much more grassy. Uh, this could be Willet. Like the, it's like got the a four dill year small batch. Yeah. Dill spearmint. Hmm. I oh mean, wow! Dill pickles. Yeah, a lot of my yeah, guess. That, my, I would say that's the Willet four Will years small batch. Right. Yep, and like a hundred and seven, hundred eight proof somewhere and in that range. If I'm wrong, if, if that's shark repellent, that's the I'm if that's so shark confused. repellent, you got the results. Mixed <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, there's there, no chance. I love that it's gonna there's be zero. It's gonna be shark repellent. It's not gonna be shark repellent. No, I, I didn't taste dill and grass ever. Mm. It it is so dill, so much dill. All right, uh, yeah, it's a dill pickle. It's the most dill I've ever had on a Willet. You know that would be delicious in, in a Bloody Mary, like a, make a rye Bloody Mary <sighs> with some dill that, pickle in it. I don't it. know why that makes me mad, but it does. <laughs> it's, I, I drink it. Ugh. I've never done a Bloody Mary for a couple of different reasons: acid yeah. reflux. Yeah, that would. That would literally destroy your esophagi. Oh, yeah. It's acid and it's reflux. And if you have both of those at the same time, 
crap shoot. All right, so I don't think one is the shark repellent, but I, if, if it were I'm between, say, it has the it, the makings of it. There's no way two is. There's no way. We're saying, I'm saying Thomas H. Handy for B1. I, I could see that. You could see that. We're saying Willett, small batch, four-year on B2. Man, I can't get that dill out of my head. You can't get that pickle out of your mouth? I can't get the pickle out of my mouth. That sounds really weird when you say that. Okay, this, this is... This could be shark repellent. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> yeah. This, now we're in a sweet spot, baby! Woo! Oh, dude, you know who's on Matt Madness this Friday? Who? Dan and Sean. Oh, man. Talk about a crapshoot. God, could you... If Dan gets blasted, like if Sean literally makes Dan his, you know, I don't know. What are you going to say, Grace? Because don't say it. You know, his baby, his baby, his baby. He's like, you, I'm the middle manager now. I'm trying to be PG. And I went down a hole and I was like, crap, I need to not do that. Um, Yeah. Dan and Sean are going up against each other this week. Okay. There's a very real chance that this is shark repellent. Mm. It's got the oak for the age, sweet, but it also very much ha- a very solid rye. It's got a finish that I like. Mm. I mean, this is solid. I'm trying. I haven't had shark repellent in so long. I just know that there was a crazy wow factor, and I don't know if that one hit it like it did. You know whose idea the shorts for uh, the Pooh Bear were? It was the uh, chill filtered guys. So when we were backstage, we, they were talking about how much they love Whiskey the Pooh, and I was like, well, it is a very niche audience. Oh, dude, the chill filtered guys are amazing. Yeah, they were super I nice. Them. They were having a great time, and, and backstage – they were talking they're like we love the whiskey the poo and i was like well it gets like like 20 views <laughs> like uh-huh. i go it's actually the to write the script and to do the whole thing i go it's it's fun i like it and people like it but it's not really the best use of my time have chat AI do and it. then then he was like well you should do like shorts and reels with it and i was like oh that's a great idea and then i was like hey chat gpt write me 30 uh non sequiturs one liner non sequiturs as if winnie the pooh is humorously talking about whiskey and there they were some are terrible some are just the same variation of the other but i'm gonna keep doing it because i think they're funny and they actually i i produced produced i made 15 of them in like three minutes so it was uh that was worth doing so TNT where dynamite says we all love whiskey the poo. Is that Thomas Rabbit? Yeah, it is. Dude, do you want to know how I crushed parenting today? Tell me, Grease. I taught my kids the word sharded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a regular old James Smith, baby. You've got like two. <laughs> Like you're so close to just losing your children. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Just too bad that I'm a really great dad. All right. Yeah, you are a very good dad. But I'm cannot find this to take that away from you. Yeah, thank you. Derek Ellis, cheers and congratulations, brothers. Two of the best in whiskey tube business. Keep on. Thank you, Derek. We're an acquired it was, taste. It was great. It was great seeing him at Whiskey Weekend. As always, I think that's his second year. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, he's really great guy. Really great guy. It's the real deal, Grease. You get him talking. I mean, he's a Kentucky boy. Yo, you darn right. Yeah. And he always leads off kind of like gentle. Now, I don't want you to take this wrong way, but, but <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's yeah. like, he's like, man, and I, I don't I don't mean to step on any toes. Zach That's Jones right. did say that he wishes Grease were his dad. And the odd thing about that is if you and Courtney did have a baby, <laughs> it would end up being Zach Jones. <laughs> yeah, that's the best I've ever gotten you. <laughs> 
<laughs> that anybody, <laughs> any of our 6,000 subscribers that even has remotely caught us live ever knows who Zach Jones is. That's the funniest thing that you have ever said. Yeah, that was a layered joke right there. <sighs> Dude, my stomach. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my stomach. I haven't worked out that hard in months. Coincidentally, that's what Courtney said when she gave birth to Zach Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a solid. Oh man, for those Woo. of you out there that wanted a Zach Jones roast, semi roast, more like you got it. Oh man. Woo. All right. This one. I have to practice that breathing the doctor told me about. The fourth one before. Um <laughs> you smell <laughs> you can't. You're like gonna black out. <laughs> no, my stomach still hurts. Very floral nose. Hmm. Hmm. Oh God. I, I'm torn. I need to try B3 and B1 again. B4. I love it's got a bitterness to it, but I love the 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 just dark chocolate caramel on yeah. that thing. This is actually this is a lot tougher than I thought because mm -hmm. shark repellent was such a pow, pow wow. I feel like B4 has the most of that to me but b3 had a little bit more oak so i'm not i just i don't know now shark repellent was a seven year right no nine years not yeah that's why i was saying b3 i'm gonna try b1 and b3 again rye kind of tends to hide the oak influence though for me but once it's it nine moves more years, sweet i know yeah that's what i'm saying you start to get more oak so i'm gonna try start. one again i mean one tastes like thomas h handy and if that's shark repellent good on you like we did good i don't i don't think b1 is shark repellent but you're gonna need to try it again okay even if you need to dump that I mean, in there i don't need to i'll need to dump. oh Dwayne, my boy we had some real good talks at whiskey weekend batch a five yeah dude Dwayne's congrats awesome. fellas appreciate you both he and zoe are awesome dude i love that it's zoe clo or is it clow shoot you know that I'm the one. I should know the answer before names. I ask the question. <laughs> Always. Always. I'm really good at things. Woo! I'm shooting B4 real quick. This is going hey, while, while to end well. While you're sh sh shooting. <laughs> while, you're, while you're shooting while you, B4. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, play, I replaced an I with an O in there. Um I'm going to tell people go to oakandthieves.com if you want to um, join Oak and Thieves and have the easiest way to order a bottle ever. And that is through our new partnership with MASH Networks. And you can get you literally do Apple Pay in two seconds. Amazing cast drink toasted barrel finish rye three whiskeys. This is a, a notable fact. Andrew West, our buddy who lives up in um, the frozen tundra of. Oh, it won't let me like. Okay, it well, for B, some reason, whatever B1 is, it's in incredible. Canada. I think they have different currency. Anyhow, I'm trying to highlight Andrew West. He says the, the clouds are the only whiskey people who have passed through my town. And that is remarkable because Andrew, God love him, lives near nothing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good on you. Are you trying B1 again? Or you're B3. B3. I already went to B1. B1 is still banger. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think B3 is shark repellent. You think B3 is? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm trying it again. See, and, yeah. and then I start to get like psychological about... I always did this on tests in college and high school and it's multiple choice. I'd be like, well, there was two Bs before this. Clearly, B is not going to be... I would always try to figure out the philosophy behind the test maker instead of the complete oh, randomness dude, I did of that. it. I did that. And so I, whenever I got someone into the does gift a blind, when, <laughs> what, 
let's let's pump the brakes. It was in Habersham <laughs> County. Yeah. So okay. So the uh, bell curve was a uh, shifted a uh, few points to the left. You know what I, I viewed the gift program as school the key to doing ap classes but not signing up for them oh that's called gifted did you get national honor society obviously not i don't know what that is oh uh, okay mick yeah. whiskey congrats fellas keep on keeping on y'all are some fun guys and loved whiskey weekend batch five. Oh my gosh okay I'm lying in wait for that JD. Oh, dude, Darryl it's a ba Drew. it's a banger. Um, so Mick Whiskey, I don't know who who is that. Do you know who that is? They um, obviously attended Whiskey Weekend, but I don't know the name behind the name. I never know names behind handles, but he can tell us. Miss Mick Whiskey, Mick Whiskey, tell us. Sim did who you are. say congrats on the six K guys at golf lessons now, but we'll join with a celebratory pour in thirty minutes. Picked up. Thank you, Holden. Today. Thank you, Holden. Yep. He's got a punchable face. He's holding rice, by the way. Thing? He's I heard got, someone said that. He's got a punchable face. <laughs> yeah. He does. Um, he he, he kind of does. I don't fully know the context but of that, I but I, I overheard someone say something to that effect that was funny. I love him. Um, oh, Mike. Mike McClellan is McWhiskey. Oh. Yeah. Ride or die. Mm hmm Yeah. He's got a great beard. Okay. Okay. You're, I, I think B3... B three is 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 shark repellent. B four is solid though. B four is solid. B three is shark repellent. All I was are we saying, gonna, are we? And the answer is in here. Yeah, I'm gonna reveal. Okay, but I would B two. Thomas is, H. Handy could be B one. B one is incredible. B four is incredible. B two is. I don't very know what B four would be. Do you know what? All right, B4? Group B. Oh, okay. This is fun. Okay. Okay. B1 is Copper Sky, uh, Taste of Spring, 117.6 proof. This is a barrel pick that Ty did. He does a, a fundraiser, Taste of Spring, every year. Good on Ty. And so Copper Sky's out of Virginia. B1's incredible. He sent us a bottle of it. It's at my house. So we have a bottle of B1. Okay. So which is Will great. has a bottle of what I thought blind was Thomas H. Handy at no, his house. We have a bottle of it. It's just at my house. Okay. Yeah, I'm we have need, a bottle. I'm going to need halves. Yes, because it's incredible. Uh, B2 is Tom Foolery, which was a Lincoln Road pick. It's 108.2 proof. I could have sworn that was a four-year small batch ride uh, from Willet. And if and if anybody just – I'll send B2 to somebody if they're like, I don't think so. There were so many people that brought some uh, Copper Sky iterations to Whiskey Weekend, and I had quite a few, and every single one I was impressed with. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember what um, whiskeys they were because mm -hmm. I'd had a few. Um, right, so we have a 50-50% chance of getting this right, Will. Um, so we were correct. Of course we B3 were. is the Staves and Grain Bingo. Shark Repellent 119.2 <laughs> Proof. We were able to pick our pick, which is a fun game. I also love that he put it on the Mind Blown Presents Magic Is Ty God. Gallenbeck. Look him up. Look pick up your Ty pick is such a Gallenbeck. Good, but then the final game. one, B4, is the new Riff Mavriff pick. Oh, great. And, B4 was amazing. Um, it's uh, from our buddies in our group, picked it. Uh, it, it I liked was, all of them were single barrel. Mavriff was. I thought they were more Corey, general, right? Corey picked Maverick. No, that was Troy. Troy picked Maverick. Tag him in. He's gonna. Troy he, did the sticker. No, got, uh, mm, Corey did the sticker, right? Yes, he yeah, probably yeah, that's what did. He probably did. Um, Corey does everything. But it, the Maverick is incredible Jesus, because this Jesus one, so pissed. this one easily could have been. I'll edit it out. He doesn't watch. Um, <laughs> it, uh, Maverick easily could have been up there with the others. Copper Sky, we thought was Thomas H. Handy. Uh, Maverick, we thought could have been shark repellent, which was nine year um, MGP Rye. Uh, those were all very good. The Tom Foolery Lincoln Road pick, actually my least favorite by yep. a significant amount. By a long it wasn't shot. bad. It was just time. it was so much dill pickle that it. Um, yeah, that's all. It, it wasn't exactly like. what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, it was one dimensional, and it was. I mean, you got. I like dill pickle. Yeah. I don't necessarily like to drink dill pickles. Right. They have that dill pickle whiskey. Right. Uh, Wicked pickle or something. Wicked pickle. I don't know if that's what it's called, but you know oh. what wickles are? So dickle is is 
is completely missing the mark. Oh, let's do Tabasco. Dickle, pickle. But, yes. Dick. Why on God's green earth do they not have Dickle Pickle? So, did that is ever... the most out-of-touch <laughs> marketing team on the planet. It's low-hanging fruit. It's right there. I don't Dickle, know if pickle. we talked about this, but when we were at, I, I kind of, like, I never want to shame someone because that's not our, our it's not our, our jam. Have but, you heard of glam shaving, shaming? No. I saw it on The Bachelor. That's a thing you would do. It's a thing. This was when we did our very first whiskey warmer. It was a cold night. Oh, yeah. Um, we almost got attacked by somebody. There was a lot going was on. A really that night. big parking lot. We had a, it was a really fun night. And we had one of the guys from Dickel come sit down with us. And he was like, he was there was a moment. There was a very short moment where Dickel had a trajectory. If they didn't all of a sudden, like if all their stock didn't turn into the Flintstone vitamin mineral stuff that uh -huh. like people were turned off by, they had a moment to really take off because for a minute people were like, I'm rejecting the whole Jack Daniels thing and I'm going for like Dickel because it's not as well known. There was uh -huh. a, there was a slight moment that could have been a thing. It didn't end up being as a thing um, and, and for many reasons, but <laughs> The the guy who was like a main rep and he was like he was pretty big. Like I I follow him on Instagram and stuff still, but he was at our table and was throwing so much shade in, and we aired this like very early. It's in that whiskey warmer episode. Uh huh. But he said he was so proud because that was when the Jack Daniels fire was out. And it was like Jack Daniels fire was out and the fireball competition was kind of a big thing. Mm -hmm. And he was like Dickel will never do a fire flavored whiskey. We will never do something like that. You think we have audio and of that? 100% we do. And he said something to the effect of Ugh. the day that we do Dickel fire is the day I resign. And did, then, and did he? <laughs> no, he's no worse for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Call him out right now. Okay, so if you go to thepodcast.com, <laughs> we have this player on there that you have every episode ever. If you go all the way, probably just start from the very first episode and scroll through and find Whiskey Warmer, you're going to find that audio. And Will says you're 100% going to hear the Dickle guy if we ever come out with it. Never give me 100%. But he definitely said it, but 99% I left that in the episode because he was proud of that moment. He was and, uh, he was proud of that moment. Yeah, I mean, that's very early. That's episodes, one of those things. I, that is stuck with me because I still follow him on Instagram, and I'm just like, man, talk about a, a divisional a, shift. Yeah, like you said, I will quit, and y'all did tobacco, which was argue, tobacco, Tabasco, <laughs> which was arguably the most panned product. Oh, of all time like, in, by with whiskey a, people. With a bull, and by the way, I have a... You know what, Will? We should drink that. I have one. Talk to the you people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, folks. Um, thank you all. And thank you all for the super chats. And Jason Newman, who's like a big brother to me in Greece. Um, we love Jason and Natalie more than anything in this world. Jason and Natalie are like big brother, big sister. He said, uh, congrats, my friends. Here's to many more milestones. We love y'all. Um, and we love you too. So thank you so much for that. Uh, oh, Kevin has a wonder. You rang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yes. Kevin is our podcast historian. He, he pretty much knows everything there is to know. And he has everything in an Excel sheet. We just, we just told everybody about an, an episode. Yeah. whiskey warmer and he popped in and said you rang um, first of all i so just want to know does to... he does he remember that moment no he has it in the excel sheet he goes and searches <laughs> that's what he does i have been waiting for so long for the opportunity to break this pour. it's it's not open daniel yeah. speaking of thank yous for this six thousand subs daniel carter has done some really cool graphic design work for us in the past he's a really amazing guy we really appreciate dc um, he's at DC if he's in the chat. I don't know if he is or not. Hopefully he is. But anyway, this is his. And then he put his, I'm assuming it's his face, peeing fire. And it says Dick Burns edition. Dick Burns. It's right there. And it's, and it's, so it's Daniel Carter peeing on some barrels. But anyway, <laughs> Kevin says, 
I definitely remember that moment. Wait, do you want to try this? Yeah, I've, we got to. <sighs> I mean, I still remember how it tastes, Will. That's all I'm saying. Ugh. I, it makes me so happy that we got the validation from Kevin. <laughs> Did he say that was right? Yeah, he said, I oh. definitely remember that moment. Oh, that's incredible. All right, here we go. Not, oh, yeah. Not America. It's not. Oh, God. We're going to taint our glasses. <laughs> oh. <said> taint. <laughs> oh. God, it just looks like pee. It looks All like right. well-hydrated pee. All right, Grease. Dude. Just to six. <laughs> it's going to burn <laughs> like <laughs> <pee too. laughs> We have to shoot it, right? All right. To, uh, to 6,000 subs and to every single person here that made us there. Oh, love y'all. I mean, I've had worse. There's no reason to ever drink that. No. I'll start there. No. But it's not. Unless you're like, I need hot sauce on everything kind of person, which there's, there's people. Out Honestly, oh. I, you're going to laugh at me again because I said the dill pickle thing, though. Do half that, half that dill pickle rye and make a Bloody Mary with it, and you're going to be okay. I could see where you would use to dickle Tabasco for Bloody Marys and hit a mass market with that. I mean, there's it's no literally whiskey. the only thing that you'd use it for. Right. Because the whiskey connoisseur is totally not into that. I'm looking for the date because it was early um, 2017 when we did the whiskey warmer, I believe. I thought it was in the, I thought it was in like November or something. Nope. It was March 22nd, 2017. It's a bonus episode called whiskey warmer. Will and Grease went it's out an hour and eight minutes. It is an hour and eight minutes. <laughs> Enjoy. We were toasty that night, too. Oh, yeah. By the end of it, it was really unusable. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. Will, Will had my, to work his magic. Here's my favorite. Will and Grease went out to Whiskey Warmer in Franklin, Tennessee a few weekends ago for a night of socializing, interviews, and best of all, whiskey drinking. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that couple of dorks. We were trying, you know, we were trying to be copy masters. Back in the day. Woo. Now we're just like connect. Yeah, I, I'll find the Support. clip. I'll find the clip and I'll Follow. I'll clip the audio and I'll post it in the Facebook group or something. That love, that's I when you that. wish we had a video of that evening to shame someone. Yep. I don't I'm not into shaming people, but that one really gets me. Like that is my favorite because of how far beyond just cinnamon flavored dickle they went. They went to Tabasco. Tabasco. Right. And they're like, this is going to do it. This is it. It's really young whiskey yeah. finished in Tabasco, Tabasco barrels. barrels. Which, you know what the best part of that is? What? To me, the best part and the irony of it all is that Tabasco famously uses Jack Daniels barrels to age their hot sauce. <laughs> Have for a for hundred years. Like It's, it's a, a very known part of, right. of Tabasco is that they age the hot sauce in Jack Daniels barrels. We all know, <laughs> so we they all know even, that Dickel wants to be Jack Daniels. The product without Jack Daniels. <laughs> right. Man. Wait. So that's a no time out though. Oh, so is it indeed a Jack Daniels barrel, a used Jack Daniels barrel? I would yes. assume yeah, so. It is. That's hilarious. So it's Jack Daniels infused. Oh, this is sweet. Tabasco. First of all, what? Mike Lawson. Thank you. Cheers, guys, and congrats to 6K. Thank you, Mike. And then from our buddy, uh, what's his name? Mark Porter. Mark Portier. Yeah, Mike? Mike Porter. Mike Porter um, from ADHD Whiskey, formerly said, of ADHD Fishing. Congrats fish. on 6K, guys. Friggin' love you both so much. We were just talking about how you were very kind to us at the beginning as you were a shooting star that didn't burn out in the mm. YouTube world. Yeah. And we're like, man, you encouraged us to not just do the audio stuff, but also dip our toe in this as well. So thank you, buddy. We love you. We love what you do. You have the premier YouTube whiskey event and it's um, man, always man. a fun to part to be a part of. And I had a great time last week, even though I'm still confused why you let grease on every show. It just doesn't. It's just absolutely the dumbest thing. And he sends me messages like, "I we I'd love it." I'm like, "Do you?" Well, he keeps Do allowing love it. it. He likes chaos. He's a chaos agent. He does. He. J I think he just needs time to reset. 
Yeah. So that he gets his ducks in a row and he just lets me just yell for a minute. This game was super fun. Super fun. And pick your pick. That is we're gonna we have do to do that again. more often. We're gonna do well, it. Well, we've got group A and group D. C. Yeah, we have A and C. So we'll do it again uh coming up. I love that we're saving it to do later. Super fun. Thank you, Ty. Thank you, everyone, for watching. But just to wrap up again, we were drinking the Rye 3 Whiskey Cast Drink Toasted Barrel Finish. And we didn't even say the proof. It's 118.8. Yeah, it does not drink that. 118.8. It's just so good. There's so many flavor, flavors. It's really rich and complex. Um, yeah, talk, talk me off on that. I want to end the night on this. I do too. So, especially after that dickle tobacco. Ugh. Tabasco. Why, why can't I get that? It's Tabasco. fine. It's fine. It's um, Monday. But we we really <laughs> loved meeting Karthik when we picked it. We have a video we did with him that we're going to put out. Um, we love what his vision is for whiskey. He's innovative. He's a, a brilliant mind. And um, he he took a chance like on us to like, hey, let's do a barrel. Let's let's do it for the Oak and Thieves. Let's kind of yeah. um, he was do, like, this will be let, the let's first shake one. Shake some stuff up and. And then when it, we were wanting to get it out to be the first to market, he also was like, hey, yeah, if we need to sit on it so we can do this big launch with MASH Network, let's do it. So that was very cool of him. Yeah, because um, most distillers are like, we got it. We're pushing it out. Like, yeah. if you ask them to hold, there's like a month, maybe. Right. Like, they'll you're, do you're, you're, you're grasping it at straws at that point. Yeah. But he was very cool about it. But also, congratulations to him because... It did so well at New Orleans Whiskey Festival. I know they're going to just keep winning awards. I love their standard product. I love these. Mm -hmm. Everything we tasted that day, I he even had some like um, light whiskey. Yeah, that I would have walked away with my like, favorite I, thing. It was so good. My favorite thing is on the on the back end of your palate. Sometimes there's a bitterness that lingers. Yeah, this thing, perfect amount of toast. Well, you think it's coming. You literally think it's going to come, and then it doesn't. It's so good. It doesn't. All right. It's not going to last long because it didn't last long at Don's, and that wasn't um, – that was just on the shelf, not for uh, an enthusiast club. So go join Oak and Thieves, oakandthieves.com, and you can place the order right now for this Rye 3 whiskey bottle. It's delicious. You're not going to be disappointed. Um, if you went to shop.oakandthieves.com, you would see it, but it says it's $4.99. Um, like four hundred and nine. Yeah, four hundred ninety nine dollars. I think when you put in the code for Oak and Thieves, like seventy eight twenty five. Yeah, it, it's seventy one twenty seventy eight. It it basically oh, yeah. you get it down to what SRP would be, but you're getting ten percent off as well. So, um, I don't know many clubs that are doing it that way either, where you're getting ten percent off your purchase <laughs> on top of it all. So, but our our uh, people that we're working with with Mash Networks are awesome. We're super excited about the possibilities and the shipping ease yeah. and things of that. Um, you can go directly to it. Shop.oakandthieves.com. Yeah, if you want to get a regular ride three, you can do that. But the only way you can get this for not, um, right. Not at $500. At least for like $420 off. Yeah. Then join Oak and Thieves. <laughs> Any level you're, uh, you get access. There's a post. It has the code and all that. So, Everyone, we really appreciate you uh, watching tonight. And Zach Jones did say, um, uh, he said, to end this, this is a good one. Congratulations on 60K. <laughs> Proud of you guys. Love you, Will, and Dad. Hash Courtney, hashtag Courtney is my mom. Man. So I couldn't think of a better way to end that, but go to oakandthieves.com. Support us. Support the club. Get in the club. Enjoy it there and get some really good whiskey and james smith gave his stamp of approval on this so you know it's good you know it's some of the best barrel picks you'll ever have he's actually said some things that are borderline blasphemous about how good this is like he's saying i i this like is... like legit blasphemous like <laughs> blasphemy laws no no not that not oh, that far but okay. in the whiskey world like saying like this is better than maybe some other things we've picked <laughs> He loves it. He's a big fan. So, all right, folks, check it out. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We appreciate you all. 
And we're going to end this the way we always do. We don't know Jack, but we'll drink it. Also, help us get to 10,000 subs. That would be a much better celebration. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I would really like to get there.